okay so but then you know if i have to manually you know try each and every value of m and b in order to find my best approximation i have to be really an insane person to gonna try this <laughs> right um but that's that's actually not feasible humanly feasible to give a try to all the possible combination right of m and b and in order to reduce these errors and you have seen that by just trying to you know trying three different values manually uh, it almost took me half an hour right so just imagine there could be millions of combination and I seriously don't have that much of time <laughs> okay but then uh, what i'm trying to say is we need a better technique right we need a better way to figure it out that where exactly will be the minimum error okay so in in such cases what we do is we try to you know come up with a uh, loss function as i was telling you at the very beginning of this theory we need a cost function and if we can minimize that cost function uh, you know then we will be able to program it and get the value as soon as possible right what are the combination of m and b such that the error is the minimum okay now if i plot my values uh, this uh, combination of m b and e m was 0 b was 1750000 and error was 156000 so there are three pa uh, parameters here 0 230,000 and error was 96,000 roughly I and mean, all these are all rough numbers and if my m was 100 and uh, 75,000 of intercept and then I got an error of 83,000 and so on and there will be more much many more values so what happens is if I try to plot these three values then it will appear like a 3d plot right like a 3d plot and what i can do is say in my x axis i am plotting my say b and in my second axis say i am plotting m and in my vertical axis i can plot the error right so it will be a 3d plot uh, of course it is going to be very challenging for me to draw this in the 3d plot on a 2d screen um, but if I still make an atom, so my first m is 0, so that means I am not plotting anything along this line and my intercept b is around 175,000 dollar which comes here because they are of different scale also. Um, so uh, what I do is I plot my value of e which is around um, say I will just take a different color it is somewhere here okay this is e then i do my second attempt and which is 230000 just imagine this this yellow point is on a 3d so they you might not look aligned to the lines okay um, the second is 230 right so it might appear somewhere around here and i keep doing it and then now i get my m is 100 okay and say i get uh, the e value of somewhere say around 83000 so just let's assume that this is here oops this is uh, here okay and so on right i keep changing my different values of m b and e and say some i reach somewhere around here okay somewhere around here just saying and there are now so many combinations of m and b which will give us a different value of e and it it, it appears to be it becomes a 3d plot and you know what how how does it actually look like when you finally put it this way so i'll just import a photo here so that it becomes easy for you to understand okay i took this ball okay and guess what this i can consider now to explain that so i'll just take this yellow color so this 
could be my B intercept, this could be my M, right, and this could be my L, right. So, now if you see here that you can you can try with any values of uh, you know uh, if you, you can try with any values of uh, say m any values of b any values of e will get okay and there will be a point which will have a minimum minimum value for certain combination of uh, certain combination of b and m right for a given condition of m and b you will get a minimum value here and that is our main objective and this leads to us uh, you know and in order to get the minimum value we know that we have already seen the concept of first derivative then we will also see a concept of second derivative but this is the main intention you know if i plot my parameters and then based on those parameters if i plot my error value I will get a certain plot. In this case, this plot looks like a paraboloid, right? And my main intention is to gradually you know, reduce my error and come to this minimum value, right? And this is called the global minimum, provided that I am very lucky and I get this shape of my data. But in real life, this U shape or parabolic shape is very hard to find right and that that what we will discuss in more detail right you may not always get this shape right now you got you are lucky so you got this shape but then uh, in other cases we might uh, we might get something like this as well you know we don't know it can be any shape and we will see how those things leads to different techniques, different way of evaluating things. But for now, just keep this in, for this in simple minded based on the parameters, right. So, my parameters has been m, b and I am plotting my error e and I came all the way from up to bottom and I want to reach here the global minimum error, okay, for a certain combination of m and e. So, this is this distance m and e given by sorry m and b and i want to get a minimum value of e okay that's the main intention and this is all about machine learning where we try to optimize my approximation as much as possible okay so i hope you have understood something new very interesting thing and um, you, whenever next time you see this kind of curve, you know that you know this is the error represented based on the parameters m and b and this will also lead to another concept called gradient descent right and gradient descent is nothing but if my error was here right then how do i reduce 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 keep reducing till i come here and we saw how manually we can do it we'll also see how technically we can do it in our upcoming videos but this is the steps that is you know how longer step are you going to take is given by that learning rate right that also we will discuss in detail but then for this time i am sure gradient descent now will no longer scare you because now you've seen the picture and how it came up and, and how did we come up with this picture right and, uh, and 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 we are going to explain all these terms and terminologies okay so keep this picture in mind this is going to help you a lot in our future uh, data analysis using machine learning so all right so till then have a great day and i hope you have learned something new today if you like the video please subscribe and share it with your friends okay take care